Hi everyone, welcome to volume 3 of Racing Games for the Nintendo GameCube. Lotus Challenge feels like an undercooked game. It could have been great, but it ended up being meh. Imagine this, the game has two stories in this story mode, but the only difference between those is some aesthetic changes, like for example different dialogue lines on the commentator and new character looks. But in Rust, the only differences you see between these stories is what you unlock. There are no cutscenes to differentiate the two characters in the story mode. In fact, the whole game, you don't really feel that you progress. You just see that you've unlocked something. That's, that's the actual progress in the game. And in other games, this strategy works. But here, it just feels as if you don't have a purpose. But at least in gameplay, the game is nice, you don't just race, you do stunts too, and objectives are varied enough to make up for a nice time. You also get multiple control schemes so that you can choose the one more fitting to you, overall it feels undercooked. You can see that it's promising, but it doesn't reach that fun factor you would have expected, which is too bad because with more development, it could have turned out into a fantastic game. The Italian Job is a great game, especially due to the nice car physics and controls. Or at least, in my case, that's what attracted me the most in the game. As game modes, you get a story mode that retells the main plot moments and consists on checkpoint races with a time limit, escaping the police and occasional races. And another mode is the stunt mode, where you drive in crash courses and have to finish the course in the time given. But even so, the stunt mode is creative. Overall, the game is short and sweet. The only downside is that it's forgettable. Even if it's original and fun, and has some really good driving controls, it still feels kind of generic. But considering that it's a tie-in game to a movie, it's in the good zone of the tie-in games, which is great. Extreme G3 is a futuristic racer that, if you like F-Zero GX, you will like this game too. Just like F-Zero, this game is brutally difficult too. In this game you get to buy upgrades for your bikes. And you will need the upgrades, as without constantly upgrading your vehicle, you have no chance of winning. Also you can shoot from your bike, and you can replenish your boost and ammo from driving on colored strips on the side of the track. Those strips are scars and force you to drive very strategically. The game is beautiful, and the track diversity on the 10 tracks you get is great. Overall, it's a beautiful but difficult game with great controls. If you're a hardcore gamer and you want to have a good time while having a hard time, then this is a game for you. Mercedes-Benz World Racing was planned to be a simulation game where you could take Mercedes cars and drive them on tracks around the world. Well, they nailed some parts, but not the simulation part. Car physics are still off, and while you get 109 vehicles, a crazy amount, don't get excited, as most cars behave roughly the same, and the models even look almost the same, most of them, and what models you get aren't exciting. Also, the game feels underdeveloped. I mean, you can pass through the maps, Micro Machines is the first and only title of Micro Machines on the GameCube. Something doesn't feel right about the game. I blame it on the camera, since you can't put it behind the vehicle or well above the vehicle in single player, you can only use this skewed camera angle from the side, forcing you to play the game like an isometric Java game. Anyway. As game modes you get exhibition, time trial, championship and some other race types that spice up the gameplay, like checkpoint races, or races where you have to get ahead of the competition to get points, you score only while you are ahead of everyone. Also you can play bomb tag, which does exactly what the name says. The game has 8 vehicles and 8 creative tracks. 
Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. You have the link to the join button in the description. Also, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.